Yo, yo, what up, yo? It's the Northside DJ, DJ D Double D. I'm a hip hop DJ producer and currently the tour DJ for one of SA's newest and greatest acts, Blackie. Today, we're out here at Pro Audio and we're gonna be unboxing the Pioneer DDJ Rev 1. You already know, got that Pioneer DDJ Rev 1 on deck. You already know what it is. The box is light, it's compact, it's sexy. You already know, it's unboxing. All right, so now that we've unboxed it, let's take a look what we got inside the box. First of all, we got the beautiful, beautiful Pioneer DDJ Rev 1. It's nice and light, perfect take on the road. We got the manual, y'all need to read more, so make sure you read the manual. And then we got the normal, normal computer cable, like all Pioneer DJ controllers, into a USB, into your computer. So very simple setup, no power cable, no nothing. It's powered by your computer. So anywhere you can rock. Okay, all right y'all, now that you got it set up in position, it's time to actually get it connected and really set up. So we're gonna go to the back of the controller. We're gonna take the USB cable. We're gonna plug it in. Just like that, nice and smooth. Now me, you get your RCA cables for your output, audio output, and you got the master left and right, make sure red goes to red, white goes to white, I mean like basic, and then neaten it up, and you're ready to rock. First of all, we're gonna go to the jog wheel section. Pioneer have now amazingly put the tempo slider on the top, it's a little bit smaller, but it does the job. It's got the bigger jog wheel because now removing the tempo slider on the side, it's given more room to give you those fatter jog wheels so you can get those cuts precise. It's got the Q button, classic Q button. It's a little bit smaller than usual, but classic Q button. It's got the play button, the pioneer play button that everybody knows and loves. The buttons are very strong, very sturdy. So, you're gonna have a great time. Uh, you got your classic loop feature. So you got your auto loop. Cut it down, customize the loop. Hit auto loop again, you get out of it. Got your classic sync button for the beginners or even for the turntablers that just wanna focus on that quick mixing, quick cuts, don't wanna worry about that tempo. Um, you got your headphone cue now on the top left. It is very different. Normally you'll have it down here, but just to save space to get, keep your hands free. Pioneer moved all the, all the knobs at the top. Moving over to the mixer side, guys. Classic Pioneer setup. Uh, they've saved some space at the top. So they put the trim, the gain, uh, on the side here. Right under it is your low pass and high pass filter. Classic full cut, really dope, really high cut. So I love that. Obviously your gain, don't redline it, yo. Don't redline it. You got your high cut, your mid cut, and your lows. As you can hear, it's got a full cut feature. So that is really good that you know you're cutting out all of those effects. On the top here, you got your classic browse button. When you browse here, you'll see on your computer, it's moving up and down through your library. You can then load a song instantly by clicking load there. And on the top here, you got your paddles, like the S series. So that's really dope. Up here, you got your hardware effects, which I love, as well as your Serato effects. Um, so you can s select your effects. Let's hear what they got going. Let's select the beat first, obviously, because we're playing with the samples. Let's go to classic scratch beat for now. Load it up, as you can see on your left. Hit play. We can even loop it. Let's just loop it for the sake of the demonstration. Woo! 
can obviously play with the depth of it. You can lock it in with your paddle. Effect two. Woo! Low cut. Keep it in. Third effect. Flange effect. Very nice. Very accurate. Sounds very good. And then you got the same beat effects on side two. So I must say, guys, the sound quality of this is really amazing. The hardware effects are amazing. I must mention, though, that this is a Serato Lite mixer. It's compatible with Serato Lite. So make sure that you use Serato Lite with this. Perfect for the beginners. Don't have to pay anything. Plug and play. All right, y'all. So moving over to the pad side now. You got your classic hot cues. The feel of the pads, I must say, are very strong, very sturdy for a beginner setup. Guys, you're going to love this. They're very strong. So I feel like even if you get a little bit crazy and a little bit excited, they're going to be able to withstand your big fingers, especially myself. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'll be getting a bit too excited. So you got your auto loop feature in and out. And then, of course, you got your your tracking feature, which you will have to reanalyze your, your library for. So, oh, yo, what yo, you doing here? What's up, what's up? Yo, you interrupting my video? Sorry, man. Did you know that you can also put your effects here? Oh, crazy. Now you teaching me something. All right. Yeah, okay, man. Right, yeah, man. I see you had to come in and do me like that. I right, shout out to my bro, Snow White. You already know he came in, he showed me what to do. I thought I was teaching you guys something, but now he pulled up on me and he showed me something I didn't know. So shout out to him for that. Yeah, this, he's right. This is really dope. So keep your sets hella creative. Hi, right, Joe. So we did the walkthrough. You could see what this amazing controller can do. Let me tell you, it's perfect for all the hip hop cats, all the beginners out there. This will get you off the ground, get you going in no time. It's light, it's compact. You can take it anywhere. But to a DJ like myself, I would literally put this in a backpack even, go on the road, go overseas with it, take it wherever. I know I'm comfortable with my own setup. I, you could put this on a CDJ setup if you want. And you could even rock in the club with this. So for me, I think this is great. A great system to have, especially as a beginner. So for myself, I think we've done enough talking, enough explaining. We gotta rock now. Come on. So no side DJ, DJ, D-double-D, man.